Okay, hello everyone. This is gonna be um, my analysis of the final between Chaos Blade and AEG Clayton um, in the Russian tournament. This happened a while ago, and I kept putting it off uh, because I, I um, recently I've been playing a lot of uh, Napoleon, and I haven't been playing too much Shogun too. So I wasn't really in the zone at the time, but um, I mean, uh, at some point I had to make this, so uh, here we are now. So yeah, the final starts out on Kanto Plains, one of the best maps um, in Shogun 2. And um, from what I remember of what I saw from that tournament is, um, is that uh, Chaos started using uh, four Saber Cav instead of uh, three saber cab and one revolver cab so let me see yeah we see four saber cab here so eight cab in total this means that he doesn't have to spend uh, he saves some money by swapping a, re a revolver cab for a saber cab and uh, he gets to have stronger infantry for for his push you see some red bears uh shogun and guard infantry I think that's that's where the money went, and uh, some black tortoises in the middle, supported by the marine and the black uh, not black uh, red bears on the side, and two yellow keys on the side. And I I have seen chaos own some people with this in the tournament, and uh, I really like it because uh, it shows a, how much confidence he has in. Um, in saber cab and this aggressive uh, playstyle, that like he doesn't actually need revolver cab because the problem with revolver cab is getting enough value out of it. For that to happen, you have to babysit it too much. It's too high value of a unit, and it's it's awkward to to use sometimes. And uh, one extra saber cab, like it, it gives you a lot more freedom. So Clayton, I expect something very. Um, usual from him, so two red bears on the flank, two Yorkie and one revolver cav. Um, Royal Marines on this side in the small forest going for the shrine. Hmm. This is, I, I don't remember this being good for Marines, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's got another red bear and he's got some black tortoises in the middle supported by a kihetai and uh, red bear on the left side he has a yariki and a revolver cap and uh, he's got a command general oh interesting chaos obviously has a gun general full gun with gambate um i guess he anticipated that chaos would go for the big forest the big forest is kind of um my opinion like this uh, with the, this little uh, hill covers your flank here so it helps a, a push in this kind of in this uh, depression this tunnel <laughs> type thing and um, it's very easy to hide units here and very easy to contest the, the building but i guess the shrine is here so he's going for that instead Problem with this one is is that there's a lot of flat ground. Not, it's a bit more open than the other one, so it's better for defending than attacking. Um, so yeah, what we see right now is uh, again like chaos is moving them like this, in this uh, sort of uh, wedge formation, which is defensive. Just they knows that he uh, easy easy to defend here. And he's uh, wrapping around from this side because Clayton is the one staying defensive. Here. Incoming naval bombardment, sir. Oof. So yeah, line of sight. I think uh, yeah, yeah. Chaos just got the first bullet here. He moved his units there more efficiently and naval bombardment here against the black tortoise. Does Chaos care? We'll see. <laughs> He's uh, wrapping around here. Um, 
tried to get a volley off with these guys, but the uh, line of sight didn't allow. I guess Clayton moved back. And um, yeah, so basically, this kind of forced Chaos to move a little bit, which allowed Clayton to get a free volley and uh, some extra shots. Um, naval bombardment can yield much better results, but uh, this wasn't bad either. Although, if he had his Royal Marine here, he could have uh, taken advantage of the fact that this unit started shooting at this unit. <laughs> Which means that he could have. Um, wait, what, what does he have here? Well, he didn't have a 150 here, actually. He doesn't have a 150 in the middle. So, yeah, like uh, this side, like it's pointless to put a marine here. Um, I don't know if it's. I don't know. If you want to put a marine here, then you have to do something here. Like staying defensive here with a marine is not really that much of a. It's not. Not that great. Because nobody's gonna attack here anyway. Um, so yeah, if he had a, a unit here or a couple of units, and they started pushing while he shot at this unit, it wouldn't have been a free volley, because he would have gotten back against these these units. But now he's uh, starting to shoot them with um, the Royal Marines, and KS is gonna charge him with the saber cap. Clayton is trying to block it. Decent block, I guess. Uh, though they did lose a couple of guys. And this, these volleys are not that great. He wandered into range with these guys and... Okay, so Chaos attacks this unit. Goes in with the Saber Cav. Another one, but it gets blocked again. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's going from through the, going from the flank with this one, to quickly kill that unit, Your men are routing, sir. and pushing with this marine against this defenseless black tortoise and another saber cap going in. He gets blocked again, <laughs> although he's uh, just gonna go through it, I guess. Your general is under attack. So let's just stop this for now, because uh, I mean. Let's talk about what's actually going on. Um, so here Clayton wanted to sort of push. And I think he got rid of a bunch of Yari Key here. The reason I think Clayton thought he could push here is because uh, he had one. He had a, a position in the forest. But the problem is that Chaos had two units here. I don't think he had to charge him with the Yari Key for that. But yeah. So I think... Uh, one thing I want to talk about here is that Chaos kind of went into this game a bit more uh, composed. He didn't just go all out attack from the start. And I think that's um, one of the harder things to do is to break down your attack into smaller steps and to be able to to be able to attack step by step as opposed to um, just one big attack moving up everything at once because uh, then you can then you're a lot more flexible if you attack uh, bit by bit. You can stop whenever you want, you can shift units, and uh, you can react to your opponent a bit more. So here I think Clayton did a good job because this Yoriki blocked a whole bunch of Saber Cap. Here, uh, however, he did a bad job because, um, as you can see, like Chaos, is move like Chaos doesn't have any Revolver Cap, so Clayton could have had a free charge into this uh, United States Marine unit and that would have caused a lot of damage and I think um, the way Chaos started um, this game is he started poking around a, a, a little bit I think if he poked around a bit more and he used his saber cap a bit more economically it would have been better for him although he doesn't want many units to join in the fight I guess so Oh my god. So yeah, like, I don't know. The revolver cap didn't have to go up. <laughs> you should have charged this unit first so it doesn't shoot at the at your cap and then you can go in. And then Chaos, what is he gonna do? Attack with the saber cap? Attack the Yariki? I don't know. Peyton needs to pull back here because it's 2v1. This is one of those uh, things again. Um, 
Like Chaos already knew that he had an advantage here, but it's an advantage that Clayton can easily negate by just going back. But uh, Chaos tied down Clayton's micro and uh, units everywhere else, and then he moved in. Clayton should have anticipated this. So yeah, he had one leftover Yariki to purge the flank of the Saber Cab. This Revolver Cab, because it got shot to pieces, it can no longer do too much damage. And this Marine, actually, I mean, it survived the uh, Yariki because Yariki didn't actually do too much damage to it. And this flank, the two Red Bears are advancing. Then he goes in with the second Revolver Cab, I guess he had two. <laughs> One of them must have been hidden in the start. Um, this unit is uh, bugged, it's going into the enemy. So yeah, a bit of a problem. But this revolver cap is gonna die now. The general is gonna kill it. These red bears, I mean, nothing is gonna oppose them now. These, he has too much, too many lines left, so yeah. Even though I don't think he played it as efficiently as possible, um, this saber cabbage is good because your opponent cannot shoot. If you if you charge them in one by one, he's not going to be able to bring more units to the to the battle. So I think um, the moral of the story is that you have to realize, like when your opponent doesn't have revolver cab, then you have to be the attacker to some extent. You have to take on the responsibility because uh, if you don't, then um, well, if you're gonna pretend that he's invulnerable, then you're you're giving him a lot of uh, room to attack you. And he has four saber caps, so yeah. I think um, yeah, it's not not a perfect game, but it was a pretty good game. So let's see the next one. Oh wait, let's before that let's see the um the post battle what is it called? My god, the battle report or whatever. <laughs> um Yeah, those uh, two saber cap used there. I I imagine chaos will have very few kills with it, uh, with uh, some of his saber caps. So let me see. So this marine killed the most, and uh, I mean there's no revolver cap that protected it, which means Clayton could have charged it. And Clayton could have pushed up his units because he had a key head hider actually, which could have, could have done a lot of damage to it. So Clayton let this unit be free, and when you when this unit is not shackled by um, uh, all sorts of um, dangers, then it can do a lot of damage. Black tortoise doesn't surprise me. And this unit uh, it didn't lose anything. Uh, it did kill a lot. Um, <clears throat> Chaos had a very strong left flank, and this is um, partly because um, this is actually because he didn't have revolver cap, so he had one saber cap that killed a lot. But if you look at this, my god, this is terrible. I mean. Uh, and the, the thing is, is that um, I bet Clayton has a l very little kills with a bunch of units, but those are line units. So I think this is the the idea is that cavalry restrict um, or stop line units from doing their job, and uh, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that cavalry is gonna be the thing that kills them. It's gonna be the lines but your lines are going to be ineffective <laughs> so technically it's it's all about lines it's just that the cavalry disrupts them and uh, yeah i mean clayton were a bit more aggressive he actually could have baited a lot more of an attack from chaos a lot bigger and uh, he could have used his revolver cap to kill clayton's um 
Dayton's Cavalry. So, because uh, what happened was that uh, Chaos could always enjoy a superior team firepower due to his cav attacks helping him out there. So, yeah. Uh, fascinating game. Let's um, move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the second game. It's gonna be on waterfalls. Yep, waterfalls cannon map. I'm sure that Clayton chose this one because he's very good at it, and the reason he's good at it, um, in my opinion, I mean everything I say is is a uh, from my perspective, um, but I think that um, Clayton is good at this. He's very good at. Uh, he's very direct and he makes very simple moves. So he this which makes him efficient. So he if you're very direct and precise, take short distances to go to the places you want to go to and uh, know when to go and when to back up and. Uh, don't leave any weak points then um, your opponent is gonna take uh, if he's messy he's gonna take a lot of damage unnecessarily so by pure e efficiency you're gonna beat him so oof my oh my days Jesus Christ well okay so let's talk about the builds first now that they all reveal their armies we have an Armstrong gun from Clayton. Uh, this extra accuracy is uh, probably from the general doing some. Uh, I, I think it's the it's the targeted fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, we got the Marines, Red Bear, Black Tortoise supporting the Red Bear. Good. Um, it's going for this side as well with some Red Bears. Yarki, Black Bear, interesting, and uh, Revolver Cav and Saber Cav. It's a, it's a mix of lines and cavalry. I don't know this positioning here. You can get some shots here. We'll see where they go. And uh, he's obviously have his, he obviously has his uh, reserves here. Revolver Cav, Saber Cav, Yarki. He yeah, likes to mix them up. And Chaos this time didn't bring any artillery, which is, I think, a mistake. But I think he he, he didn't. I don't think he felt confident that he can beat Clayton here because Clayton is good on this map. Um, or maybe he just wanted to surprise him with something. Who knows? But the surprise is actually the same exact thing I think that he, he did last time because he has four saber cab. And for Yariki, we have one spear levy here, white bear, red bear, black tortoise, have 150 marine. Yes, it doesn't have the guard because instead of the guard, he has one spear levy. I don't know about that. Spear levy, I think, is good. Uh, the way Chaos usually uses it, he uses it to gain time, so he anchors it at a dojo and uh, he catches some shots until the rest of his army can move in so it's pretty good so again as you can see like this is what i'm talking about this is exactly what i'm talking about. can you see how like chaos is moving sideways backwards forwards this formation it doesn't make any sense right whereas K clayton just made two small moves and he's already taking he's already doing a lot of damage to chaos this is this is efficiency one move versus a lot of moves, he has to fix a lot of things because he's not um, being very precise. So yeah, just be precise, direct, deliberate, naval sir. and you're gonna do a lot of damage. So, Clayton is moving across here, which is... Uh... Okay, so I think I, I know what's going on, and I think this is good actually. This forest... Oh my god, is already here. This, yeah, this forest is actually pretty important in controlling these places. Um, <clears throat> Clayton used the naval bombardment here. 
which is good to push people off dojos. KS is uh, outflanking him with the Yoriki, so that threat might be addressed later. Um, but the thing is, if he has to move, he cannot exploit this outflanking maneuver with this unit, so um, the naval bombardment might push him away and it might be pretty good. Shooting at the spear with the black bear, so that's good. And that gave uh, Chaos time to go in. Problem is that this is a red, this is a white bear, not a red bear. I think the red bear would be better here because it, it might get attacked by cavalry, but we'll see. Here, this is like, this is going terrible for uh, Chaos. I think he's also pressured by the fact that Clayton has artillery, and I don't know about this cavalry. Maybe have them defensively here, set up here, but for the workshop, like, you don't need to attack that hastily. I think Chaos is also using this some line of side trick that he learned, but um, I think Clayton is better. Like, there is a slight bit of elevation, he can shoot above these units, and uh, like, you can, as you can see, like, the he makes sure that the entire unit can shoot by um, listing it at an angle to the dojo. So yeah, Chaos is moving in with one Saber Cav, and Clayton is in no position to block it. He's moving in with Yarki here. So, damage against Black Tortoise, which are weak in melee, I don't know, it, yeah, bad. So again, if you're gonna out try to out micro your opponent, you must, must be on top of your micro. And uh, Chaos got stuck in this Red Bear, instead of charging it. Although he has gun battle, which is good for him, but still, he got stuck, so didn't charge it, which means he's stuck in melee, and he's getting shot from his own unit. And now Clayton, all he has to do is just charge it, and it has like terrible morale already. But he, this saber cav is going in. The saber cav is chasing it. I, you should never chase cav units, in my opinion. Just counter charge. And this unit turned very hastily to shoot this Saber Cav to stop it from doing too much damage to the Red Bear. And this unit, it just has to stay put here. Can't really do much. So he's going in the Saber Cav against this Red Bear. I mean, the Red Bear will eat it. So. Damn, Lily Liver Cow! Your men are running, sir! Yeah, it immediately routed as I had predicted. Oh! So you didn't move them, like, yeah, this is the alternative, you don't move them. Even then you can't shoot because, again, the the blast will disorganize your troop and they won't, won't shoot. So, <laughs> there you go. Saber Cav bad morale, even though, even though he had um, rally, so, that's just because he didn't click them. <laughs> like, you must click on the units, you must... You must do things precisely in order to make make uh, these things work. And uh, this is kind of an even fight in my opinion. So yeah, this unit, although it did get a good position in the forest, it's not directly shooting at anything. Uh, the only good thing for Chaos is that he routed this black bear. But his losses here are huge, so now he's gonna move here. Black Dorth is kind of undefended, but I mean, Clayton has so much up there. This Black Torch is routed. These two Yariki are gonna get destroyed. This Yariki will block them here. Kind of an even fight here. Men are routing, sir. Um, okay, I don't know what happened there. So this unit is... Uh, <laughs> I like this. It's just completely ignoring... Um, this saber calf because it wants to shoot this black tortoise because it shot his uh, spear levy for free. Again, the spear levy has to be backed up by something, otherwise it just gets shot for free. And again, this position is negated by the fact that Clayton didn't have anything here that Chaos could shoot at. So this revolver calf will kill everything here, and this uh, saber calf might fight the general. And in this, in such a small space, I mean, especially if you're gonna friendly fire on your units, they're gonna route. So there you go. Unit 
actually been in because it has a better position I think this angle is, is better more of the unit can shoot with a better arc this unit will sh get shot from the side right yeah and um, well now Clayton has free cav that is not gonna be blocked by anything as I said he basically won here uh, it's probably a wrong order they bugged out but <laughs> okay well so I think the moral of the story is don't bring a huge saber cap build on this map because why what's the point you the whole idea of saber cap is um, lets you attack in the middle so that your yariki can outflank but where do you outflank with the yariki there is absolutely no terrain which is advantageous for cav you either end up being blocked by hills buildings or you end up in forests and and in none of those situations is cav useful so here you should have as many lines as you can get away with that's the moral of the story here so let's end the battle so yeah, i think chaos slope maybe like it's a one size fits all solution for every battle maybe i don't know i don't know why he chose that build in fact uh, the spear levy was kind of useless because clayton didn't like uh wasn't even really actually it wasn't useless actually because it got a free charge on the black bear but i still would have preferred a guard well we'll see the results so yeah as I said before, Clayton won quality army, and even the Armstrong guns, like they did, they did a pretty good amount of damage. In the United States Marines, like what did they really do? Like what did they do that was uh, so amazing that they got this many kills? It's very simple. Chaos walked into their volleys. That's the point about efficiency. You must be deliberate, efficient, and move into like like you you must uh, avoid your opponent's volleys and cover as much space as possible, and uh, yeah, be organized. Have a move in a certain direction, straight lines. Don't don't go around. Don't overlap with your units. It's uh, it's what Clayton is very good at. Like he he just has a knack for it. Um, revolver cav, yeah, lots of kills at the end. And now I guess I have to look at the cavalry. Actually, uh, I mean it's okay. Um, and definitely not what you pay for. I mean, you pay for red bear. They get way more kills than this. Um, but he, his red bears didn't get any kills. I think. Um, yeah, I, mean, I I think I said uh, all that needs to be said about this battle um yeah just have cannons <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> there's nothing to lose with by, by having cannons like having cannons is just uh, the way to play this map um in my opinion um makes it very difficult when you don't have them and um yeah, this black bear got killed by the saber cap, so... And the uh, Clayton's cavalry, if you take a look at that, by responding to Chaos's attacks from angles <laughs> that Chaos couldn't check, he got of moral penalties against Chaos's units, and he got way more kills, even though he had fewer cavs, so... Um, maybe before going in with the cab it's it's uh, it's better to create a firepower advantage by default and then go in with the cab and exploit your advantages as opposed to just trying to have the cab do everything especially in such tight spaces um yeah so i would have preferred a guard instead of i would have preferred his uh, his build with the guard instead of a uh, spear lobby but uh yeah, okay, so next game.
Okie doke, this is the third game, Usui Pass. And Chaos and Clayton. Let's see who wins this one. It's 1-1 uh, one, one so far. Chaos one on Kanto Plains, Clayton one on Waterfalls. Uh, <laughs> the usual story, it seems. Um, talk about this map a little bit. I mean, I've talked about it before, but um, there's a huge ridge line in the middle with all the dojos. And if you conquer the ridge line, you can take the dojos, have that advantage, and then push your opponent downhill. So this obviously um, means that people will always try to bring some. Uh, some uh, melee units to contest um, this hill but I think um, you should be careful uh, when making that decision so every time um, let's put it this way every time someone wants to win a game uh, in the melee fight or in the calf fight it's basically, it be becomes an arms race of who has the better veterans. And, uh, basically, you have to outbid your opponent. So, do I think that Chaos will have rank 6 <laughs> Shogitai, right? So, like, maybe if I do, I'm going to bring a rank 7 Shogitai, right? And then I'm going to beat him. Or, like, do I think that Chaos will bring uh, upgraded Shogunate Guard Cap? Well... If I think he does, then I'm going to try to outbid him. I'm, I'm going to bring even better Shogun the guard cap. The obvious weakness of this is that uh, if your opponent doesn't go for that kind of game, then uh, you spent a whole bunch of money for something that's just going to get shot. So yeah, it's not a very um, thoughtful way to try to win the game. It's, it's usually a very... It's trying to get an easy win. And... Uh, if you didn't bet well enough, then you're gonna lose. So let's say Clayton. Let's see Clayton's bet. <laughs> Segitai. He's got um, two Shogitai rank three and one vanilla Shogitai. Let's see Chaos's units. Chaos just has vanilla Shogitai. So I guess Clayton is winning the Shogitai war. Um, we'll see what kind of general he has though. Because uh, Gambata can swing that in favor of Chaos. Yeah, so this is a command general. Chaos has a Gambata general. Which, oh wait, does he? No, he has a Bushido general, yeah. So what does Clayton? Clayton has a command general. What? Against the Bushido. Like, if you're going to go with a lot of melee, like, I know morale is important, but I think um, Bushido general with, his, with the charge bonus buffs and all that. Um, and the speed bonus and the um, fatigue bonuses that it gives the melee units, it's uh, it's usually the best way to go here. Um, so now let's see calf fight. Like let's see how that goes. Clayton tries to poke in with the revolver calf. What a brave, brave warrior. Well, um. Of course, like chaos just retreats. Actually, I should go over the builds. <laughs> so yeah, spear leg on the side, two Yuriki, one Rebel Recap, two Yuriki, one Rebel Recap on both sides, one Saber Cap. Um, I went over the Shogitai, Red Bear, three of them. Spear Levy. My, why is so? Why so many Spear Levy? Well, I guess he thinks that like Spear Levy will um, save him from all the cap that Chaos brought. Like as we can see, that Chaos brought a lot of cap. Revolver, Saber Cav, Revolver, two Revolver, two Saber Cav, Yoriki, three Yoriki, four I assume, yeah. So yeah, he brought a lot of Saber Cav, two of them, um, because um, the only way line units are worth anything is if they can shoot. And actually, like if you get some, he doesn't want Clayton to get under the ridge and shoot. 
And actually, it's good, they're good against Shogitai as well. So, like, Saber Cap can do a lot of damage to Shogitai um, in a way that, like, Shogitai will never trade cost effectively Sir, against Saber Cap. Naval Bombardment. So, Chaos instead of going back, just attacks. There's no backup here. Clayton is too far on this side, like, um, doesn't want to get outflanked, but it leaves his center vulnerable. So now, clicks. Click the Shogitai, good. Decent charges. And the Shogitai running unopposed. Like, they're literally not gonna take much damage at all. And now, Chaos is infantry, which is. Um, I didn't go over that. I haven't done this in a while. So um, he has uh, three red bears, one with an upgrade. Now they're in a position to do to shoot Clayton. So they're they're gonna get perfect shots off while Clayton is not shooting. Now he's running with the revolver cap because again, like these shots, they're disruptive. Now he's he ran into I don't. Flanking with such a vulnerable unit, I don't understand that. First of all, yeah, one more thing about Shogitai, why Shogitai kind of suck, is because, um, especially in a situation like this, Shogitai needs calf support. Because otherwise, your opponent's calf can charge it. So, especially if you, and especially if you're going up on a ridge, your opponent's Shogitai will win the Shogitai fight because. He's charging downhill. You're going to be charging uphill. That's the battle you're never going to win. So whoever has more cap then will win the Shogitai fight as well. So Shogitai is so cap dependent that um, again, it's all it's the same same scenario, same arms race scenario. Of who can bring more of it and who can outbid their opponent? And uh, if you bid wrong, then it's not going to work out in your favor. So. If you want to play this type of game, where um, you go up onto the hill and charge and then get into a position to shoot, this is a very good way to play it. And I would, I would probably, uh, have, like I, I have builds that uh, go like this. So yeah, like I uh, play it this way. But there is other ways to play it. So if you have tons of infantry, he, your opponent cannot really touch you. You know, anywhere it, he goes, you can just slither up on the side here. And just play like a slow game. Um, and if you have enough cav and you play as well, like uh, with a lot of with a good micro, you can uh, you can win win the game. Um, although that uh, again, but a lot of lines that's also vulnerable to melee rushes. So again, it's it's kind of like uh, mind games, like who. What do you think your opponent will do? You know, Clayton is using the flank that he had all those units on. Shoots his own unit here. It, this 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 unit is gonna do a lot of damage here actually. Now Spear Levy goes in from the back. Saber cap defending against the Shogi's eye. So I think like Clayton caught Shogitai here, like Chaos is Shogitai in bad situation. So here it's like caught them in the side with two of his Shogitai and a Saber Calf here. Um, main problem is, is that Chaos has three lines and Clayton has one. And I think lines are obviously like the best units for holding areas and if you think about it, like Chaos also has this general, and uh, this Shogitai are not gonna give up. So, Damn, cowards. yeah. So Cav, uh, Cav is not like the, not gonna live very long, and uh, like a revolver Cav ammunition is also finite. So like he can charge these units all he wants, but these are red bears. Red bears will puff it out. It, not gonna matter too much. Although it's still pretty close, so I guess if Clayton played it a bit different, he could have won it. 
just the problem is that uh, he couldn't go up the hill because of the cavalry disadvantage that he, he that he had. Your victory is I think close. the um, spear levy might have been a bad idea. Bring the spear levy because they didn't actually stop any cap from doing anything. He wanted to take this archery dojo, which he did, but it didn't end up mattering in the end. <clears throat> yeah. And if he didn't run into a revolver cab with that one shogitai, maybe it would have, maybe he could have actually won it. So it's kind of hard to tell in all the fighting. It all comes down to who gets the better charges. But in, even then, in the end, like those three lines that Chaos had left, or oh, who killed the most, revolver cab and the lines. Yeah, shogitai also had decent kills again. Like they got into Clayton's lines. On a pause, like Clayton didn't have his Shogitai there because he was going for a flanking attack. If you if he decided to go for the flanking attack, he should have just went onto that flank with everything. Might have worked out better, especially with the spear lab, because then in such a small space they could have stopped the cab. See the uh, spear levy like chaos. I wonder what they did. I don't actually remember <laughs> them participating at all. Holy crap. Um, Saber Cav. Yeah, Cavalry did okay. Yeah, I mean, they fought a bunch of other Cavalry, so they did pretty good, I think. And Revolver Cav also did very, very good, so yeah. Let's see, Clayton. Shogitai got a lot of kills, and then the Lions. Nope. Skill we got 55 and 75. Or maybe it was not a bad idea. I guess it's a calf. Like the cavalry wasn't in position and uh, to support the lines because he was going for that flanking attack. And the chaos realized that he can get to Clayton's middle way faster than Clayton can go around the building to get his flank. So yeah, that's exactly the the the, the point. Like here, chaos was more direct. He just went in a straight line up onto the hill and down the hill. Um, whereas Clayton, now he's the one that made the, like that had to, uh, he, he was the one who had to run around the, the the dojo. So again, he was less efficient in that. Direct attacks are very dangerous. So either face them or, or, or elude them completely, I think. Don't get in the way of them, <laughs> like those two shogitai. Okay, three shogitai. Very, very, very good. Okay, so yeah, I think I think it's still like shogitai are very, very good on this map. It just um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I think if you play a uh, line infantry, that's like another way of uh, going about it. Lines and then um. Cap for defense and uh, yeah. If you know how to um, oppose melee rushes, then uh, I think you have a good chance of winning it. <coughs> the, the the slow way. But if you want to just uh, blast through your opponent, well, might as well just bring a full melee rush build with a couple of infantry units and mm. and. Just micro better, basically. Okay. Alright, we're on to the last game of the final of the finals of the Russian Polish Samurai tournament between Chaos Blade and Clayton from AEG from Kowawa River. Very nice map. They only play on the good maps, I think, because they have been uh, been around for a long time. Uh, 
Okay. Builds. Okay, I was going for that hill straight away with red bears, United States Marines. Ooh, from a Yorkie is this three Yorkie, two Saber Cav. But I assume the other Yorkie is here. Yeah. Revolver Cav, Red Bear, Red Bear, White Bear. Is actually good because uh, this uh, shallow water makes it uh, difficult to attack this white bear. So I think this is a pretty good position for it. Um, <clears throat> the demons of Omi, 150 white bear on this ridge. Decent line of sight, even here. So it's a uh, it's pretty good. Um, so he's going for this hill. I talked about this before. You can camp here. You can triple line. So that's why it's good, partially, and also it makes it easier for you to attack this side, from this angle, and you get a dojo sometimes. Although this is the workshop, I think uh, it's still worth it to go for the hill. Um, this side is not really that defensible. You can't really kite because of the water. This ridge means that you cannot really support your units, you have to go from one side to the other. Although there is some line of sight thingies here, like you can, uh, there's some depressions here in the in the ridge, and you can shoot over some of your units, so. Some of your units' heads, uh, you line them up one uh, in front of the other. And, uh, yeah, okay, so Clayton's build. Red bear, red bear, red bear. So it's going for this side. Four, red, all red bears going for this side. So he wants this side, I guess. He wants to attack from here, even though there's a lot of water in, in the way, which will slow down his attack. Um, it's gonna be much slower than chaos. Yeah, I mean he's already outflanking him here. Like what the hell? He's got the two saber cap, two yuriki, and a revolver cap. Like just a whole bunch of cap. I'm not a huge fan of having them grouped up like this because I mean there's nothing you gain from having them next to each other like you're gonna pick one uh, and you're only gonna use one in the end like I think like each of them have a, their own purpose in the game and therefore should have their own positions whatever it doesn't matter so <laughs> we have uh, three white bears on the other flank Three white bears on the other flank, so like you're gonna get outflanked by a whole bunch of cavalry. You have white bears to defend against. Them. It's gonna kill you, I guess. So yeah, efficiency. Let's go, Clayton. Get the first volley. Come on. It's gonna walk into this uh, 150 here. Although he's shooting at it. Yeah, so clearly Chaos is not walking into any volleys, he's made a li nice line here. Yep. Like, uh, this wasn't necessary at all. This unit was gonna get shot anyway. And, uh, like this I don't understand at all. Um, I don't get it. So, I mean, you have 150 range and then you're gonna walk into this ridge. Like, I, I think if your opponent is bad, then I guess he can, uh, you can get away with it, but are you really gonna take this ridge with absolutely no support, like, even from behind, like, it's hard to support because of the water, but if you get up here, like, it's only valuable if he has nothing here in this red bear, or white bear, actually, is gonna get into a position, and then, despite of this unit having a range advantage, he's gonna get shot. Chaos is gonna walk into this volley. Again, not very efficient movement. He tried to slither in from this side, I guess. I would have gone back and then I got, would have gone forward. I think that would have probably been better. Just to contest this sword dojo because Clayton is Clayton actually has it already. <coughs> um Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna pretty good. 
I like them. You have to be very smart and very, very, <laughs> very good player to play them, though. Well, he gets the first volley here, so I guess, and naval bombardment, which means this unit has to pull back and then an extra free volley. Like he gets an extra free roll from that. But actually, actually, maybe, maybe that's pretty cool. What he did here, because, because um, brute forcing your way into this this area is not very intuitive, but given the fact that you know you have naval bombardment, <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Actually, a pretty good idea. So yeah, I was wrong about this, Clayton. This was a good idea. <clears throat> Turkey is. Uh, I'm gonna look at that. So, um, good block by the revolver cap, but it's gonna get shot because it's in line of sight of these units. But this is the problem now, I guess. So, okay, so like now you had a good engagement. Just pull back instead of keep uh, instead of fighting here any further because <clears throat> you already did a good job. This unit is not supported and it's gonna get attacked from all sorts of angles. So it's, I guess Chaos uses Yariki, his Yariki that's worth 790. Hoku to as a meat shield to shoot at this unit. Not worth it at all. This revolver guy was gonna shoot this United States Marine. So again, if he didn't have all these units like grouped up here, maybe he could have had. Uh, or if he pulled this unit back, because this unit wasn't engaged that much. Yeah, he wasn't engaged. So if he pulled it back like here, he could have covered the retreat of this Marine. And uh, if Chaos goes after it with a revolver cap, he get shot. And now it's a free Marine. Yep. But it was a good idea. Your general is under attack. Okay, so now it's even worse. So like, like, yeah, okay, like I understand this is Shogun and counter charging is very important. But me uh, you mess up your lines if you run through them like this. They're going to take a while to get into a position to shoot while they're getting shot at constantly. And again, like Revolver Cav will take a lot of collateral damage on this Marine and the Cav unit. So charging it, never worth it. So yeah, free marine. Oh my god. Um, at least he's winning the fight here because he went back and went forward again. This unit's not shooting. Should go up to it very close, of course. No, no actually, this shooting. Okay. Never mind then. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't notice this. So like the whole time, I guess Chaos was going in behind Clayton. Uh, which is Yoriki. Damn it. <laughs> Would I have gotten caught by that? Maybe. <laughs> um, uh, especially given the fact that I'm commenting, I have to talk about everything that happens. I, I kind of missed this. So, got the Armstrong guns. Let's see how much, how many kills they got. The Armstrong guns, I mean. Armstrong. 106 against the 150. I'd say they paid for themselves. <clears throat> so in this situation, they were in a disadvantage, actually. And I think if Clayton pulled back his Marines, would have gotten a, he would have been at an advantage here. And if he would have pulled back here, like he could just pull back behind his cannons, use it as a meat shield. Why not? A unit is running from the battlefield, sir. Now he charges into the unit. Get the general over there, because otherwise your units will rout. Revolver cap gets shot immediately. Naval bombardment on a unit that's not involved in the fight. Not a good idea. Should have been on this. This unit. Or this unit. Whichever one you're fighting currently. I don't know why I use it. Why is he pulling back here? And... This is a good engagement. Or maybe he sees the cab, I guess. I, I don't know, but it's not near enough. I don't know what's going on. So, again, this unit has got into, got into a fight. Now it's all messed up, disorganized, not in a position to shoot. 
that take a lot of volleys. But Chaos moved in here with his 150. I guess he... I mean, it, whatever. I mean, you don't have to play efficient when you have already won, I guess. <clears throat> so it's just gonna get shot for free, essentially. This unit is uh, moving and taking this ridge line that has a forest on it because Clayton pulled back. And um, he has, uh, again, like, what is the point of this? Like, actually, Chaos could have. Chaos didn't actually use his uh, numerical superiority that he got by, by the fact that Clayton went with cannons. Because um, this unit made a giant loop around the map. Even though he could have just went, gone straight through here, or here, anywhere else. Could have shifted all his forces to the middle. But, was the I, even then, like, uh, he, could sh he could have just gotten here earlier. And then the, this unit won't, wouldn't die so easily. was such a cool move here by Clayton actually that naval bombardment stuff but uh, he messed it up afterwards uh, but um, this is a very this is a very difficult game so uh, GG to both and uh, yeah they're both very very good players and um, I'm glad I got to analyze this this game well, let's see the post battle report. What it tells a different story of the fight every time. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that marine, that's pre marine, pre Yuriki from, uh, from Chaos. A unit that's not even present in the fight. Pre volley by that 150 white bear. These are the things that uh, we need to think about and uh, learn from in order to get rid of these inaccuracies from our games. So revolver cab. I mean, this is a, this is a marine. Ah, it hurts. This was that marine, that cool marine that just tried to brute force his way into the fight and it did it and it was successful and then it got wrecked. <clears throat> this marine, again unchecked marine, it will get this kind of KD every time. No no surprise there. Red bear, I have no idea where this one fought. On, on the case is right maybe. Decent kills I guess. This might be the one that fought for that dojo with Clayton. White Bear. This one got shot by that Marine, I think. <coughs> this one got shot by the Armstrong guns. And it still got this many kills because of that free volley. Yorki. This one might have been the one that looped around. This was the one that died for nothing. This, um... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, well, they got decent kills. Oh my god. What happened to these guys? Uh, I guess they got counter charged at some point. In the back, the, the one I didn't see because I was. This is Paul the Samurai in a nutshell, like commentating is so hard because there are so many things are happening at the same time. We got a Red Bear here. Uh, they got the most kills. Don't know which one it is. Can't tell. Maybe the one that was uh, fighting in the forest. Armstrong guns. I'd say this is decent, especially against the 150, decent value. Revolver cav used defensively against a lot of cav, got pretty good kills. This marine got quite a few kills, even though it got 
he died for absolutely nothing. Um, white bears. Uh, don't. I guess I mean, to be honest, I don't think I need to really analyze that the right flank of Clayton because that flank is really just a kiting flank. Like, he had a range disadvantage there, and a cavalry disadvantage. He was being outflanked constantly, so what he had to do eventually, eventually he either had to retreat behind his cannons and then launch an attack on uh, some of Chaos's units, and then close the distance with these white bears, or he just had to keep running and hope that like somewhere else he does enough damage. Um, I think if he moved this this uh, United States Marine unit um, after getting that good volley, then he would have uh, evened that up. It would have been a better. Um, he would have uh, had a, a much more of a an easy task to deal with. Uh, see, like one of these white bears, I'm sure this got charged at some point and shot to death. And couldn't shoot back, and especially the fact that they're white bears. White bears are expensive, and the, they don't uh, put up much of a fight against Cav as opposed to red bears. Imagine if one of these white bears was the one in the forest on the other side, would have gotten more damage, or fighting for that dojo would have gotten, uh, would have probably won that. Um, Although that's the flank, that's even that's still not that great. Um, they're white bears, he paid for them a lot, and they didn't get kills at all. <laughs> so, yeah, it should have been a different unit, clearly. Saber Cav. Uh, Saber Cav? What? Where were these guys? I think one of them got shot by that uh, revolver cap. I think like saber caps like th these could have uh, like, there were several holes in chaos's formation so like he could have, these guys could have gone ar around and charged from the back or just threatened chaos and chaos wouldn't have been able to attack as much like they could have gone into better positions like I, I remember one of them was fighting against the Ariki for the cannons um, the other one Got shot by the revolver cap, not very good targets to attack. If you use them more actively, they will get plenty of kills. So yeah, this is all absolutely like it. It's uh, there's a lot of unnecessary losses going on here, but uh, it was a good game. Uh, good game to both, and uh, that's it. Three one to Chaos Blade. Um, GG's. I'll uh, see you all around. Bye bye.